Welcome to the Discover Universe. You, the latest news from around the world. Around 2036, a faint signal will cease. Voyager's final whisper from over 24 billion kilometers away. For nearly 60 years, these probes have been our eyes and ears in the outer solar system and beyond. Their silence will mark the end of our direct connection to the most distant objects ever created by human hands. The end isn't sudden, but a slow fade as their power sources, the RTGs, decay year by year. Engineers have shut down instruments one by one, conserving energy for as long as possible. The last signal will be a testament to human ingenuity, a final, faint pulse before silence. Afterward, the Voyagers will drift through interstellar space for millions of years, becoming time capsules of our era. They'll outlive their creators, carrying a message from Earth into the unknown. Their journey transforms them from scientific tools into relics, our silent emissaries to the galaxy. The final transmission is more than data. It's a handover from active exploration to passive legacy. These probes become our ghosts in the cosmic machine, coasting on momentum alone. In their silence, they remind us of our fleeting existence and our enduring desire to reach beyond. The Voyager missions were born from a rare planetary alignment, a once in 176 years chance to visit all four outer giants, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, Neptune. Using gravity assists, the probes could leap from planet to planet, saving fuel and time. NASA seized this fleeting opportunity, building two robust spacecraft Voyager 1 and Voyager 2. Their primary goal close-up studies of Jupiter and Saturn, with Uranus and Neptune as possible bonuses. Each Voyager carried 11 instruments, cameras, spectrometers, magnetometers, and more, to study these distant worlds in detail. The mission aimed to revolutionize our understanding of planetary formation, atmospheres, and magnetic fields. Before Voyager, the outer planets were blurry disks. Afterward, they became complex, tangible worlds. The Grand Tour was a pivotal moment in space exploration, transforming distant points of light into places of wonder. Voyager promised the first detailed maps and measurements of the outer solar system. The alignment was perfect, the technology ready, and the questions profound. The stage was set for one of humanity's greatest journeys, and Voyager delivered. Voyager 2 launched first in August 1977 on a slower, carefully calculated path to hit all four gas giants. Voyager 1 followed 16 days later on a faster trajectory focused on Jupiter, Saturn, and especially Titan. This meant Voyager 1 would overtake its twin and reach Jupiter first. The Titan flyby bent Voyager 1's path out of the solar system's plane, ending its planetary tour after Saturn. The launches were meticulously planned. Each calculation had to be perfect for the gravity assist to work decades later. Once in space, the probes deployed their booms and pointed their high-gain antennas back to Earth. The dual launch strategy provided redundancy and allowed each probe to specialize. Voyager 2 was the marathoner, Voyager 1 the sprinter. No matter what happened, humanity would get an unprecedented view of the outer solar system. Two probes, two paths, each defining a unique legacy. In 1979, the Voyagers swept past Jupiter, revealing a world of storms and swirling beauty. The Great Red Spot was exposed as a massive, churning storm, and Jupiter's atmosphere came alive in dynamic detail. The probes discovered Io's erupting volcanoes, the first seen beyond Earth, and Europa's icy surface hinting at a hidden ocean. Ganymede had its own magnetic field, Callisto, a battered ancient landscape. At Saturn, the serene rings were revealed as thousands of ringlets, shaped by shepherd moons and mysterious spokes. New moons were found, and the structure of the rings fundamentally redefined. Voyager 1's close flyby of Titan revealed a thick, organic-rich atmosphere, fueling speculation about prebiotic chemistry. To achieve this, Voyager 1's path was flung out of the ecliptic, ending its planetary tour. Voyager 2 continued onward, but both had already transformed our understanding of the gas giants. The outer planets were no longer distant mysteries, they were dynamic, complex worlds. The Voyager's discoveries rewrote textbooks and inspired generations. Their journey was just beginning. 
After Saturn, Voyager 2 journeyed alone to Uranus, arriving in 1986 for humanity's first close-up look. Uranus, tipped on its side, showed extreme seasons and a bland appearance hiding a dynamic interior. Its magnetic field was wildly tilted and offset, creating a tumbling magnetosphere. Voyager 2 discovered 10 new moons and studied the planet's faint rings. Miranda, one moon, stunned scientists with its jumbled patchwork surface. In 1989, Voyager 2 reached Neptune, a vibrant blue world with supersonic winds and the great dark spot. Methane clouds raced across its atmosphere, and the source of its energy remains a mystery. Voyager 2 found six new moons and confirmed Neptune's clumpy rings. Triton, Neptune's largest moon, was revealed as geologically active, with nitrogen geysers erupting from its icy surface. With the Triton flyby, Voyager 2's planetary mission ended. Both probes now headed into the unknown, beyond the sun's reach. Their discoveries at Uranus and Neptune completed the grand tour and changed planetary science forever. After their planetary encounters, the Voyagers began the interstellar mission, exploring the edge of the sun's domain. First, they crossed the termination shock, where the solar wind slows and meets the interstellar medium. Voyager 1 crossed in 2004, Voyager 2 in 2007, entering the turbulent Helios Heath. Here, they measured the solar system's protective bubble against cosmic rays. The final boundary was the heliopause, the true edge of the sun's influence. In 2012, Voyager 1 crossed into interstellar space, followed by Voyager 2 in 2018. Now, both sample the material between stars, sending back data from the galactic wilderness. Their instruments measure the density, temperature, and magnetic field of this new environment. The Voyagers are our first emissaries to the stars, pushing the boundaries of knowledge as their power fades. Their journey through interstellar space continues, even as their voices grow faint. As of August 2025, the Voyagers are the most distant human-made objects. Voyager 1 is over 24.8 billion kilometers from Earth, 166 AU, its signal taking more than 23 hours to reach us. Voyager 2 trails at 20.6 billion kilometers, heading in a different direction, its signal taking over 19 hours. Both probes are speeding away, far beyond the solar system's edge. In 40,000 years, Voyager 1 will pass within 1.6 light years of Gliese 4 and 45. Voyager 2 will pass Ross 248. They're not aimed at any star, their paths are set by gravity assists. Their fate is to wander the Milky Way, orbiting its center on lonely trajectories. Even after half a century, they've barely left our cosmic neighborhood. The nearest star, Proxima Centauri, is over four light years away, a journey of 75,000 years at Voyager speed. The Voyagers are our first steps into the vast ocean of interstellar space. Each Voyager carries a golden record, a 12-inch, gold-plated disc with sounds and images from Earth. It's a message in a bottle, meant for any intelligent life that might find the probes. The record contains 115 images, natural sounds, greetings in 55 languages, and 90 minutes of music from around the world. It's a snapshot of Earth in 1977, curated by a team led by Carl Sagan. The music spans cultures and eras, from Bach to Chuck Berry, Navajo chants to Solomon Island's percussion. Anne Druyan's brainwaves, recorded as she thought about love and humanity, add a personal touch. The cover includes instructions, a pulsar map to locate our sun, and a diagram of the hydrogen atom. The golden record is more than data. It's a symbol of our hope to connect. The odds of it being found are tiny, but its existence is an act of optimism. It declares, a curious creative species once sent a greeting to the stars. The Voyager missions are a monumental achievement, our remote eyes and ears reshaping our view of the solar system. They turned distant planets into vibrant worlds, revealing volcanic moons, hidden oceans, and supersonic winds. Their discoveries fueled decades of science and inspired future missions. The Voyagers pushed beyond the planets, sampling the interstellar medium for the first time. Their continued operation is a marvel of engineering and dedication. Soon, their signals will fade and silence will follow. Yet their journey continues, silent artifacts coasting through the galaxy, 
carrying the golden record. They will outlast our cities, our nations, perhaps even our species. The Voyagers are our enduring legacy, a message in a bottle for a future we cannot imagine. As we look up, we wonder, are we a fleeting echo or the start of a cosmic conversation?